have my hobo freight jack. This one doesn't work so great anymore, but I have that on my uh, cribbing here. A little, little board under the bumper, hopefully that holds up. But we're gonna try to raise the bumper a little bit. Um, that loosened up these two bolts here on each side. And I noticed that if I get you around here, I have I have some slottage that I could push the bumper up also. Um, that's probably what it really needs, but we're gonna see what we can get out of out of here first with the jack. Cause it does look like it's kind of Kind of angled funny. So, I'm gonna go with that. See if this jack is gonna cooperate. Alright, so we're just lifting the car. <laughs> All right, uh, there goes that. All right, so that was a fail with those bolts. We uh, got the four slotted bolts loosened on the bumper itself now and see if we can get it to come up a little bit. Got one side. Oh, stay in the frame. Tuck it all the way up there. Okay. That's probably it. Pretty tight over here. About the same over here. Kind of like that. Still haven't fixed my gap issues over here. All right, we'll screw it down. All right, so I'm gonna kind of go through what my plan is for fabricating the uh, bracket to mount the air dam. I want to be able to easily remove the air dam for like loading it on a trailer, working on it, getting a jack under it. Um, would be nice to be able to use them as Zeus. Uh, like quarter turn fasteners, but yeah, we're just going to use quarter 20 screws, uh, but we'll have nuts welded on the back so we don't have to get around the backside to hold a nut. So did a little bit of shopping, picked up some flat stock here, uh, a bunch of quarter round, well actually this is a 5 16 round and a couple of these springs. Now these are gonna be like struts that hold the bottom of the, the air dam from folding back. Um, and then these springs are not gonna stretch, but they will be like a breakaway feature. So if I hit something, they'll, they'll fold and come back and hopefully self-reset. So that'll be interesting. Uh, this is kind of a diagram of what I was thinking. I have the bumper here um, and the radiator support. Maybe this here and the air dam right here. So the spring would be connected to two plates that have kind of a 45 degree bend in them. Fast. I'm probably gonna like try to get a screw through that and clamp it down. So, yeah, that, to take it off, you'd probably want to unscrew here, and then that would be hanging down, and you have to take that off. But, um, so, 
air dam already has some aluminum square tubing on either end. The top one goes all the way across. The bottom ones just kind of, there's two of them that support the edge. So this piece of metal here will be used to make these pieces. So on the radiator support, there's already a hole that I plan to use to bolt this piece of angle on there. And then there'd be a, a screw coming through here to that piece of angle. And then this overlap joint is gonna be welded. Um, so the front of the air dam is angled compared to the radiator support. So I can't exactly like make these two pieces without having the whole thing together. So they'll be clamped together and welded in place on the car. So that'll be interesting. Um, then also this bracket would screw, I'd have to drill a hole in the bumper and screw that to there. Have a 90 degree bend come across and then the end of that bracket welded to the end of this L bracket with enough room to put a screw head in there. Um, and that I may have to make a connection up to that. I don't know how strong this will be. But we'll see. I also need to use that for closing off portions of, like the left and right side where I don't want air to come up into the fenders. So I want air to go into the radiator, not into the fenders. <laughs> So, the whole point of this is Pintos have terrible cooling when you put a V8 in it. Um, so, we'll have air, let's say the grill is up here, the hood. So, we'll have air coming in, the grill, radiator, and then you'll have big ass V8, well, little V8 in the way. So, air cannot get around the V8 it has to come down or through the wheel wells and with the road being down here this air dam will create a vacuum in this area and suck that hot air down under the car out, yeah, out in front of the wheels I'm hoping um, I have a little bit of air coming up through here too well, that's that um, yeah, thought I had another point, but I had the, the fenders, um, may put in like a vent in the side of the fender so that the air can come around through here. There's a lot of room over the tire and the, the fender, plastic liner, the air could come out through there. That's another day. So, got these nuts to weld on. Can't find any plain steel ones, so we're gonna have to burn through that zinc, zinc stuff. But. And I got all this other scrap stuff laying around. I can do this. We'll see. All right, we have our two pieces, and there we're gonna do both at the same time because uh, you have to uh, be able to hang this down on on the side of the actual vice mechanism there um, so I was afraid if I did one at a time this thing would just kind of pop off so I'm gonna do two at a time and see how it goes we're going for a 90 degree angle oh boy <laughs> I don't remember what the maximum thickness was for this thing, but we might be, we might be over that. All right, I need both hands. Okay, that took a little doing. I think we're at a 90 right now, so let's open it up. Well, one of them didn't quite bend the same as the other one. Let's put my uh, nice square up there. 
Looks like they both could use a little more. Ha. Huh. All right, well, that's close enough for me. We got two brackets left to uh, get, get a hole drilled in there and on each one. I have to figure out where that's going to be at. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of guesstimation here. <clears throat> All right, so got my bracket spent at a 90, drilled a hole in, mount on to the radiator core support. I drilled a quarter inch hole for the quarter 20 bolt. This is a 3 16 fender washer. I drilled a quarter inch hole in and a quarter inch nut. Let's go install them. All right, got both of those mounted on. Like a little forklift. So I kind of went down more than I was thinking, but I can always adjust the other one. It'll come up. It's going to be kind of an awkward thing, but we'll have another L bracket coming to the top of here from the bumper mount. Once it's all in, it'll probably get some X bracing or triangulation. Alright. Alright, so I got the uh, brackets for the air dam mount finished. Not finished, but bent. Um, I'll get a pointer here. That would be this. This one here, kind of going away from the plan a little bit. Now it's going to be sitting on top of that one. And this bracket isn't going to come across like that anymore. We're just going to go straight up from here to here. So this is all kind of out of proportion from reality. Um, so we're just going to make a small angle up here that that one will hold on to. So didn't quite need a 90 on these. As far as I can tell, it's going to work out good. Got to get a hole in here uh, to mount it. We we'll have to figure out where that's going to be next. Okay, so we have. Temporarily mounted up in there. I took the the belting off of the bracket. So you see what I'm doing? I'll just have a clamp on here where the weld would be. Uh, I'll need to get longer screws. So now we have to make uh, angle bracket that's going to weld up to here and bolt on to the back side. See if I can get you in there. See that that bolt up there. Um, Sharky is here helping me. He's not feeling so good, so I'm just hanging out. All right, let's make some more brackets. All right, slowly getting somewhere. I have this bracket made. Move it up to the bumper. So that'll just get a fillet weld on each side over there. This is definitely not going to be a show car by any means, but uh, this will be highly functional. It's already pretty. Pretty stiff and it's not even not even really together. This is just sprung load up, up against there. Um, I got this bracket on, got a little bit of a bend to it. It's actually too much I'm trying to shoot for a pad that'll bolt on to here and then Get this camera view good. It's gonna be round rod 
come from there to here and then there'll be a round rod coming from the other side of that screw up to here with a plate a plate on here and then I think I'm going to take a round rod from somewhere over here shoot it across to here and where they meet up here they'd be welded together it's kind of an X brace so I think that'll be pretty stout and I'll keep this fender from wobbling you can see that I actually took the hammer and dolly and straightened up this little wrinkle that was here I have to get a little more rust-oleum on there my super prime paint job Oh, I forgot to say if I uh, if I told you I, I snapped the screw off trying to get it out. So I had to drill that out and retap it. Actually got lucky drilling it out that I didn't ruin the original threads too much because the tap just kind of cleaned out the threads. So that was nice. But I gotta make the Pretty much all these brackets for the other side. I uh, ran out of this material, had to go to town and get more of that. And the dog was sleeping over there, so I couldn't work over there. He's starting to feel a little better, so that's good. But, uh, yeah, be nice to get this straightened out, or uh, strengthened up, I mean. That used to be just like a plastic plastic guard that went under here. I actually found one at the junkyard that was it crumbled when I tried to take it off. But now we're gonna have the heavy duty heavy duty version. <clears throat> Alright, well I think I need to end this video here. It's getting a little bit long. Um, getting close to doing some welding so you probably see that in the next video. Uh, of course Sharky has to be here with me. He's always a uh, sad to see me go so he's gonna come with see what i'm doing even though he's just in the way uh, like and subscribe uh, make sure you don't miss the next uh projects coming up uh let's like see more of sharky i can probably wake him up a little bit more next time um and also if you uh have a chance check out odyssey uh this channel is also mirrored over there um and do sign up for an account if you uh if you want to watch a video of mine over there um odyssey does does give me tokens or credits for each person that views my videos if they have an account and are signed in and you can also um, support the channel uh, by giving library credits uh, as a tip um, you can also do plain old cash uh, but but you you also as a viewer on Odyssey do make a weekly amount of Odyssey library credits, so it could possibly not cost you a thing to uh, support my channel. Um, every every I believe the way Odyssey works, the more credits you have on your account, the um, more your channel is uh, promoted. Uh, so it works quite a bit different than YouTube. But uh, if you can, give me a like, give me a tip on Odyssey if you want, and uh, come back for more next time.